when when you were dabbling with crypto, how did the transition go from liking Ethereum, liking what that affords, to like finding NFTs, finding digital art, generative art? Yeah. How, how did that transition? Yeah. Happen? So there was like a two and a half year period. Uh, so I, I when I first when I found NFTs, I was already running Club Currency. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I would say there's a two and a half year period before that where I just wanted to like play with the tech. And I would say that natural curiosity for how the tech could be used, I think is one one of the reasons why I understood NFTs so early. So I would say early 2020, I got a pitch deck on my desk from Super Rare. Like they were raising their seed round and they could not put that round together because I think a lot of it was trying to explain to the public, like I, it wasn't, the business was solid. Like you go on this, you went on Super Rare, there was artists making art and selling it. There was collectors collecting art and speculating on it or buying it or supporting artists. There was a whole feed, like the super early feed on Twitter and on their web app was popping. It was like this sold for $37, this sold for $129. And you could see like there was real like markets being formed around this work. But the but they had to explain the business of super rare through the lens of why an NFT was interesting and no investor like understood or got it. And I would say I was a little dismissive on my first call with John, Mm -hmm. not dismissive. Like I, I'm never dismissive to entrepreneurs, but I would say I was a little bit skeptical that, um, like digital art was a thing. This was very early 2020. And I took the weekend. I remember, uh, and I was like on super, I spent a bunch of time on super. I was like, I bought some stuff. I started like seeing what collectors were talking about. And I remember on Sunday night, I emailed my partner, Steve, and I was like, we got to get on another call with John. Uh, I ended up writing a piece and I um, worked pretty heavily with the super art team to kind of like get their insights. I also had a bunch of friends in the contemporary art space that I like bounced a bunch of ideas around like the comp between digital art and contemporary traditional art to put together a piece that summer called You're Sleeping on Crypto Art. Uh, and I published it, I think I published it towards the end of summer, or mid-summer good, or good something. Good timing. It's great timing, uh, right before things just started exploding.